YouTubers and welcome to Saul's 1 to 64 cars and today's focus is on space and the first vehicle we have in front of us is the NASA SEV space exploration vehicle it is a modular vehicle concept developed by NASA it would consist of a pressurized cabin that can be mated either with a wheeled chassis to form a rover for planetary surface exploration in brackets on the moon and elsewhere or to a flying platform for open space missions such as servicing satellites and missions to near earth asteroids the concept involved evolved from the lunar electric rover so um, I've just been reading from Wikipedia there. Um, it's a matchbox made by Matchbox and I really like this because it is um, quite true to form. So um, there's an image that I'll pop up in a sec um, and you can see it. it uh, it's a, it's a quite a good replica of the real vehicle. So this is not sci-fi, it's based on a real vehicle developed by NASA and the programmer's budget for the year ending 2010 for the financial year 2010 was 152 million pounds so that's an expensive vehicle okay so um, I thought I'd do a feature on space because I've got a number of vehicles uh, related to space albeit this is the only one which is uh, um, not science fiction and it also the others are uh, really, uh, they're earth vehicles, so they're vans and trucks. Um, so uh, in a second, we will move on to um, what's called the Impavido. So here is the Impavido. Um, this is a Hot Wheels design and um, I'm a fan of it. It's um, kind of cross between a Lamborghini and a Ferrari and whatever other exotic supercar, hypercar. Um, and uh, this is Star Wars livery. And yeah, I'm quite a fan of it. The one thing I'm surprised to see inside it is that it has a steering wheel. I would have thought a car like this might be uh, driverless, but there you go. So um, yeah, this is um, one of my my favourites in terms of sci-fi vehicles in my collection. Um, so uh, moving on, this is an interesting Hot Wheels ca um, casting. I first saw this in a charity shop um, for about twenty p, and I thought, yeah, that's a very rare looking unusual hot wheels it is from 1983 it's got a metal base and uh, is a heavy heavy piece um, so 1983 it's known as speed machine it's got a couple of other names as well and on the side uh, you might just be able to pick out in yellow writing it says space invaders 2000 so i i love the design of this it's really free flowing and and quite unusual. So um, we will move on to another interesting car. So this is called the Spectrum Patrol Car and it's from the TV series Captain Scarlet and the Mysterons. This dates back to 1967. And this particular vehicle was meant to be 18 feet long, 8 feet wide, so sizable dimensions, one and a half tons, not particularly heavy. It was a gas turbine engine, and the chassis was made out of fleetonium alloy. Maximum speed, 250 miles per hour, and it's it had defences, strengthened nose and a bulletproof windscreen and tyres. 
So this is another charity shop find for about 20p that I came across and I thought that's really unusual. So um, I, I just found the nearest thing to hand to prop open the uh, boot canopy of this. So yeah, it's quite nice that this canopy at the back lifts up and in the back is the engine. So in one sense, we're coming back down to earth here with uh, some more earth like looking vehicles. Here is a 1970 Chevelle and um, this is a uh, Hot Wheels premium line with uh, rubber tires and a metal base and really cool wheels. I must say uh, when Hot Wheels do wheels well, they do them really well. Possibly they're the leading manufacturer in my opinion mass produced in terms of their detail on the wheels and on the side uh, is a tribute if you like to the star trek series the original star trek series and uh, the guy there you see is um, sulu and his uh, first name was coming up in my brain somewhere was Hikaru, Hikaru Sulu. He was pretty cool. And uh, there's a nice graphic on the side there of the uh, SS Enterprise. And here is a GMC panel van. Um, this has got to be one of the largest, heaviest Hot Wheels castings about. It's true to scale, 164, really solid wide heavy piece if you put it next to a standard hot wheels car it will dwarf it so this is a, a big vehicle it was in real life and um, i don't know who that character is on the side um, if you're watching this and you um, know who this character is please uh, message me uh, drop me a line in comments i'd be interested to know looks some sort of ugly dude but a definite fan of this casting I think I found this in the Asda supermarkets in the UK a couple of years ago an unusual find in a British supermarket to find Hot Wheels premium line it's a rarity if ever so this is uh, part of the same premium line this is a Barger Breaker, um, and on the base it says Hot Wheels 2022. And um, the character on the side from Star Trek is Scotty. I have to say, this is my least favorite casting, but the graphics on the side and the tires and wheels make up for it one of my favorite castings and uh, probably for many people as well so this is the UK Ford Transit from about 19 1970s and this is the Transit Supervan where they had put a big engine in the back of the vehicle to create a track vehicle race vehicle and uh, the character on the side um, from Star Trek is um, a glamorous looking lady called Nyota Uhuru. Sorry, Uhura. I probably got pronounced that wrongly. So again, Hot Wheels premium line with a metal base. Okay, and this is called the Deco Delivery. I guess from the um, art term, um, art deco, flowing lines of the 1920s, 30s. And uh, there is Dr. Spock on the side. So another Hot Wheels premium line. Lovely piece of design. Another interesting piece of design from Hot Wheels, and um, this one is the Quick Delivery. Quick Delivery, and there is Captain James T. Kirk 
on the side. So this was played by the American actor William Shatner and um, James T. Kirk was uh, quite a womanizer. He would um, fall in love with uh, most, most alien women on whichever planet he got caught up in. Okay, so uh, there's one more. In a second. Okay, so this is a product by Matchbox and it is simply known as a delivery service truck. I like this casting because it's just square, a bit like a cube. And um, you're going to have to tell me who this character is on the side. So he looks a bit, uh, it looks a bit Halloween actually. So um, forgive me for including it in a um, space video. So if you know this character, please let me know. Okay, so, oh, there is one more. And uh, we're pretty much saving the best till last. So this is the 1969 Chevrolet Corvette by Greenlight. And it is known as the Astrovet for one very special reason, which I'll come to in a sec. So if you want to pause this, you can have a quick read of the back of the packaging. Um, but uh, in particular, it says when Apollo 12 astronauts Dick Gordon, Charles Conrad and Alan Bean ordered new 69 Corvettes, they asked that the identically equipped 390 horsepower Stingray Coupes be custom finished in a, spe in a special black accented Riverside gold colour scheme. And uh, a unique red, white and blue insignia was also added to the front fenders. The 12 Apollo, the Apollo 12 cars were the only specially special ordered Corvettes in the Chevrolet astronaut lease program. Only, only this one remains. So uh, this is a gem of a casting and a paint scheme. I mean, just how cool is that? Look at the wheels, the tires, and you can see the NASA emblem on the windscreen. And the detail on this is just great. That wraps it up to up for today. Um, thank you so much for watching Souls 1 to 64 Cars, and uh, see you soon. Take care.
Thank you.